it's not your fault then you don't deserve I literally have just arrived in Cardiff it's wet it's um, a little chilly not freezing um, and um, but it's very damp it's been a fairly long trip down um, lots of Friday night roadworks traffic you know all the jazz anyway the uh, the team news is out and um, I did say that I thought that Romain says might come into the side however he is coming to the side in the replacement of Bennett at the back um, now in Nuno we do trust however I am a little bit concerned about this because Saez experiment we tried in pre-season and it was a disastrous fail is this the time to be throwing him into a defensive position on a wet windy damp night against Cardiff we were going to be very direct well we'll see let's hope he does stand up to the test and it's an inspired decision by Nuno um, and tonight I'm making the debut on my vlog on my new iPhone XS so uh, hopefully the sound quality and also the video quality will be a little bit improved uh, I do use my camera at other times but this is the first one um, with my iPhone XS so um, hopefully it will come out good in terms of my match prediction I'm a little bit even more nervous now I've seen the team news uh, Triore is starting up front and um, with Costa uh, Dendonka don't know what he needs to do to get a game but we'll see but I'm going to go um, head draw 1-1 heart Wolves win 3-2 um, I hope my heart or my head is right I don't want um, well we just don't want to lose do we come on Wolves all the bed and the hurt You've seen the team news, how are you feeling? Big difference, I've got to say, big difference. Uh, you know, the Wolves, we cope with whatever we give up, don't we? Small prediction. 2-1. 2-1. 2-0 to the Wolves, we're going to beat them. Like, I hope you're right. Come on, come on. Come on. the half-time whistle's gone here at uh, the Cardiff City Stadium and Wolves um, have got a lead one goal to nil uh, and on his 200th, 200th appearance Matt Doherty has got the goal it came from a corner headed towards the goalkeeper made a good save and he followed up uh, Traore 
from the start here. He's looked dangerous when he's got the ball, but decision making in the final third. Vinegra has been a lot better. Sonny Isi, I was a bit unsure about. He's had a really good first half. He's looked composed. And Walter pretty much controlled the game. Cardiff basically have had a few chances, mainly from corners, long throwings and free kicks, basically set pieces. Um, and they hit the post off one of them. But Wolves, um, you know, in the ascendancy, looking the better side, need the second goal. Half time, Cardiff nil, Wolves one.